Hello everybody, and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the Silo System Package. But before that, this video is brought to you by Terje Nigard and the German Holskopf. Thank you for being farm barons. The Silo System Package can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this mod is available for all platforms. And I have to say, what you see before you is just a mere sampling of what is included in this silo system package. It is absolutely astonishing the number of buildings that you could put down that are a part of this. In fact, let's kind of run down through that. This mod includes two placeable silos. This mod includes 12 placeable silo extensions, which we see here. And this mod includes 32 placeable con 32 placeable containers of which you see just eight of them located right here in front of you i have tried to put down all 32 but inevitably i just kind of things would be obscured by themselves and i really just didn't know how to do it so we're just going to put down eight and we're going to talk about all 32 of them here in a little bit. So here we have one of the two silos. It is a traditional silo dump grate. And we have our silo fill pipe. This is going to hold all of the standard grains that you typically see in a farm sim silo. We have another option here, which has a kind of a smaller grain hopper, if you will. And again, it's going to go down into the ground. We have our fill pipe that's coming up out of the ground. And these can be used independent of the silo extensions which are behind it. In fact, I placed a couple way off in the distance over there and tried them out earlier and they will work as standard silos without silo extensions being anywhere close to them. As far as silo extensions, we have four different options in a cube format with four different capacities. And then we have four different options in a round silo. I like these because if we get up close, we look at them, they have a kind of a fiberglass texture to them. I really like the looks of these. And then we have four more, which I've been struggling in trying to figure out the differences between these four and these four because they look the same, but they are listed as different in the build menu then we have various iterations of a square container and then we have different iterations of round containers again we have here round silo one and over here we have round silo two completely different models of the exact same silos but they look the same so i think maybe there's some mix up possibly in the mod. Maybe these are supposed to look different, or if they do look different, they sure don't look different enough that I'm able to pick up on it. But at any rate, let's run through all of these in the build mode. So we're gonna go to silos. And we have the silo loading point large, holds 100,000 liters worth of your traditional grain crop. So that is wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, and corn. This can be used independent, and you're just going to have to imagine that all of the storage is underground. And then we have the silo loading small point, 100,000 liter capacity. This is $24,000, where the other one was $35,000. Again, everything is going to be stored underground with these. We do not necessarily need a, um, a silo extension for this. Now it says a flap must be opened before filling. I was able to fill this one over here without opening the flap. In fact, I couldn't figure out how to open the flap. So I'm not really sure what is going on with that. Maybe somebody can put something down in the comments below because I just couldn't, couldn't figure it out. In fact, let's go ahead and come on over here and take a look at this as we walk up to it. We don't get any sort of pop-up 
saying left click here to open the flap it doesn't open automatically we don't have an option to open it when we get here to the, the cabinet so I'm not really sure how we open the flap and no it doesn't open automatically when you back up to it so then we move on to our silo extensions and we have a 20,000 liter cube silo extension $20,000 or 20,000 liters sorry $18,000 to buy then we have a 30,000 liter variant which is a little bit taller $26,000 to buy 40,000 liter variant which again is a little bit taller 34,000 liters to buy and then a 50,000 liter variant that is 46,000 liters to buy so with all of these we have a pretty nice looking system we can come in here with the um, free place mode and we can really get these right next up to each other so we can really just kind of build out our very own custom silo system how we want right then we move on to the rounds we have round type one in 20,000 liter variant for sixteen thousand dollars type two which is thirty thousand liters which is $22,000, type 3, which is 40,000 liters at $31,000, and type five, or 4, which is $42,000 for 50,000 liters. And then we move on to round type 2, which is 20,000 liters, which is right here. But again, it looks identical to type 1. So I'm not really sure what the differences are between type 2s, but at any rate, we have $16,000 for 20 liters, $22,000 liters dollars again for 30,000 liters, $31,000 for 40,000 liters, and $42,000 for 50,000 liters. And those are our silos to store our grains. Then we move on to the massive list of silo extension, or not silo extension, but containers. And the difference between a container and a silo and a silo extension is that containers can only store one product at a time. So while you could take just this dump grate and you could store six different products in it, as long as the total amount of product was less than 100,000 liters, it would hold every single grain that it can hold all at the same time. We don't need to have a matching number of silo extensions to match the number of grain, type, grain types that we are storing in the silo. Whereas containers can only hold one thing and one thing at a time until it's empty and then you can put something else in it if the silo container has been configured that way. So what we have here is we have 50,000 liter and 20,000 liter variants of the square silo as a silo container. This one is set up to hold fodder and fodder in this context is going to be pig food or total mixed rations. Then we have a seed variant, 50,000 liters or 20,000 liters. Then we have a lime variant, 50 and 20,000 liters, a fertilizer variant, 50 and 20,000 liters. Then we move on to the round silo options in fodder. This is gonna be 50,000 liters. This is a typo, this should be 35,000 liters and 20,000 liters. And then we have seed, 50, 35, and 20. Lime, 50, 35, and 20. And fertilizer, 50, 35, and 20. And then we move on to the not that obvious round silo two. Fodder, 50, 35, and 20. Seed, 50, 35, and 20. Lime, 50, 35, and 20. And fertilizer, 50, 35, and 20. And that is the pack. Now, in my opinion, this pack could be whittled down quite a bit because just as we have over here, this particular <laughs> container can either hold total mixed rations or pig food, but it can only hold one at a time. And I happen to have 10,000 liters of pig food in here right now, so I can only put more pig food in it. I can't put in total mixed rations because I already have pig food. And I like how we have a choice. We put down a fodder where we either put pig food in it or we put TMR in it. That's our choices. Now, when we get down here, we have the we have the, the lime, the seed, the fertilizer. What I would like to have seen 
would have been the three different sizes, but it's set up so that it could either hold seed, lime, or fertilizer. And then I wouldn't need nine of the same thing. I would have three. And I could put three of the same size down. Maybe I put three of these down. And I put seed in one, I put fertilizer in another, and I put lime in another. Maybe, maybe I use up all my lime, and I don't need lime for three more harvests. So then I maybe double it up, and I put, I put fertilizer in it until I need lime again. I have that choice. But the way it's set up now, I can only put seed in it. I can only put lime in it. I can only put fertilizer in it. And that is a little bit of, of an annoyance in the fact that we don't have to have 32 containers. We could have a lot smaller number of containers. We could have three, six, seven. we could have eight containers. And they all hold the same amount of stuff that the current 32 containers hold. So that's a little bit of a rant on that. But at any rate, these containers allow you to walk up and buy product at the wrench. We can buy 20,000 liters of total mixed rations for pretty dang cheap. You ask me, 900 bucks, and now it has total mixed rations in it. We can't put anything else in it because we have TMR. We have to completely empty this of TMR before we can put more product in it. Over here, we have the fertilizer variant, so we could buy 35,000 liters of fertilizer if we wanted. We could buy 10,000 liters of fertilizer, and now we have 10,000 liters of fertilizer in this container, and we could put more fertilizer in it if we wanted to buy it from here, or we could, if we wanted to, we could dump fertilizer here at the front of the silo and put fertilizer into the container kind of manually, just like this. So I really like this concept. I really like the silo system package as a mod. It lets you, as you're building out your own farm, have complete customization on which dump station you want to have, what combination of silo extensions you want to have in order to have whatever capacity a silo you want to have. I like the silo containers here. The fact that you can put one product in them is, in my opinion, absolutely fabulous. But I think it went a little bit overboard, the mod author went a little bit overboard with respect to having three different options for seed, fertilizer, and lime to make nine different containers when you could have just had three different containers that took seed, fertilizer, or lime and let the player decide which they want to put in at any point in time. If I put down the lime silo, I'm pretty much forever going to only be able to put lime in it until I get rid of it. But if I had a lime, seed, and fertilizer container, well, I could switch, mix and match whatever I wanted as I emptied it out. So let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments on the silo system package. Hopefully somebody can tell me the differences between round silo one and round silo two because darn it, they look the exact same to me. Or maybe there's gonna be an update and maybe round silo one is supposed to be fiberglass and maybe round silo two is supposed to be some other material. And for whatever reason, it just didn't come out that way when the mod was released. And until next time, happy farming.